Thanks for tuning in to another video. In this video, this is so simple, y'all. Like, I've been getting people asking me, like, oh my gosh, I wanna do the looks that you do, but I'm just not there. Can you just, like, show me how to do just simple makeup? I'm like, girl, I got you, boo. I got you. I'm telling you, like, these looks right here, your grandma loves. She does. Yes, so I only use two eyeshadow colors. Two eyeshadow colors. And it's up to you, whatever color that you want to use. But I'm just showing you how you can have a nice eyeshadow look without all the hassle of a cut crease, all these bold colors. Some people are just not into that. And I get it. So, if you would like to know how I achieve this look, please stay tuned. Uh, my brows looking crazy y'all don't mind my edges <laughs> whatever I don't care but anyway <laughs> pretty much base my eyes with the concealer so and all I did was just pretty much use my beauty blender and just blend it in my eyelids so we can prep for the eyeshadow I don't set my base anymore because of the fact it is true that it does kind of takes away from the colors that you're trying to use. I'm using my Nika K Contour Duo and I use the lighter color right here, the lighter brown right here. And also I use my NYX Avon Pop. I love this. I really do love this palette. Um, I know they have more palettes. Um, I need to get more, but right now I'm just working with this. And I just use this white shade right here, this white shimmer shade right here. And that's pretty much it, y'all. That's pretty much it. So, we're going to go ahead and get into the eyes, okay? And as y'all can see, I'm pretty much making it in the shape of a cut crease. I've been doing cut creases for so long, y'all. It's like, I cannot get away from it. But I actually put it in the shape of a cut crease. You don't have to do what I do. It's a concept of just using two colors and getting a beat look. Like, I don't know, okay. Again, I'm taking that brown I used. And just blending over it a little bit. And to like soften it from the inner corner, you can always bring that brown down to like make it blendable so you don't have that harsh line of that um, shimmer color so everything can just blend all together. And if you have to do any touch-ups, you can. It's nothing wrong with that. And also guys, when you're blending, make sure that your outer edge is blended. And also make sure you're blending the brown into the white shimmer color or whatever color you choose to use in this method just make sure they are blended like 
faded in into each other so you don't have a demarcation line on where what one color stops and where the other color stops like that is so lame and from right here you can either choose to put on an eyebrow highlight in this video i don't think i need one because my eyebrows are bleak honey and like i said you guys make sure your inner is blended make sure whatever color you use make sure it is blended we just don't have time to be looking like clowns right here we just don't we don't have the time honey so that's pretty much it that's pretty much all you have to do to get a nice simple beat like mine like i said you can choose to use whatever color you want to use just make sure it's blended because girl <laughs> So I'm gonna go ahead and put my eyelashes on, eyeliner, foundation, all that good stuff on, and I will be right back, okay? So this completes the look. As you can see, very easy, not hard at all, y'all. It's not hard at all. All you have to do is just practice, 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 and I promise you, you will get there. I'm still trying to get to where I wanna be. I just don't feel like I'm there yet, but I know I'm getting there. And I'm super excited. <laughs> just a two-step process. Whatever colors that you want to use, make it happen. For my lips, I just use a brown lip liner and my Nicki Minaj MAC lipstick, um, the pink print. Other than that, I will catch you guys in the next video.